first load back for my birthday. Currently, Clinton, North Carolina. Picking up a load of lumber, headed to Valdosta, Georgia. 440 mile load. 8 a.m. delivery tomorrow. I'm about to show y'all something. Hey, for, hey, everybody that watches my videos, that's, that's been watching me for a while. If you ever heard me talk about, you ever heard me talk about, I used to work at a meat plant called Smithfield Packing. We're about to pass right by. On my left right here, we got a big blue. On the right, if you just saw that truck sitting over there, sometimes I park my truck over there if I ever come up here to Clinton. This is actually my hometown, Clinton, North Carolina. Mom and Pop truck stop right there on the left at Marathon. Go to Mom and Pop. On the right, we got a Me Finca Mexican restaurant. We're about to come to a intersection. You see a Dollar General straight ahead. We got a place right here on the right called Southern Style Barbecue and Chicken. One of the best chicken places in North Carolina, if you're ever in this area. To my left, we have a big pond, pond shop. To the right, Enterprise Car Rentals. Woo! This is my hometown. I heard me talk about it. She's working at the meat plant for 11 years. This is the meat plant that we're about to pass on the left. I did some of everything at that meat plant. Worked on the kill floor. Worked. On, I, I really worked on the cup floor. That was my. That was where I worked on the cup floor. Where we cut the hogs up. My my specialty was baby back ribs. We used to trim them up real nice. Outback Steakhouse, Carly C's, Pig the Wiggly, Food Line. We had, we had all kind of different ribs. Hey, if y'all ever go to the grocery store and see meat from Smithfield, it's called Smithfields. They got bacon, pork chop, pork loins, sausage, tenderloins. If you ever see Smithfields packing, it don't say Smithfield packing at the grocery store, it just says Smithfields. But that's that's where it came from. Clinton, North Carolina plant is a little small plant. They kill about 11,000 hogs a day. The one in Tar Heel, North Carolina, they kill about 30 to 40,000 hogs a day. And people are, are amazed at how many, they're like, how can they kill that many hogs per day? Hey, it's possible, man. It's possible. <laughs> Every day they're killing, they're killing that amount of hogs. The summertime, they, they'll, break, they'll break it down about eight, 9,000 a day. Like when, like right now, it's in the middle of February, so it's, it's going to start slowing down. It'll start slowing down about after Easter. After Easter, they'll start slowing down. And the thing about, the reason why I left is because it's not consistent. Like you'll have a busy season from like after, la like after Labor Day. From after Labor Day up until after Easter. You'll be working six days a week, but then in the summertime you'll go down to maybe five days a week, or sometimes four days a week. And how you make your money at Smithfield is off overtime, so you might you might make 70, 80 hours a week in the busy season, but when the summertime comes, you, you back down to about about 40, 35, 40 hours. That's why I left because it wasn't it wasn't consistent. I got tired. I got tired of the up and down. There it is on my left, Smithfield Packing. When we get to this next stoplight, matter of fact, right now you can see a yard dog right there moving right now. You see that yard dog on my left? Yep, it used to be me. And right here, when we make this turn, I can't make it now because I got a yellow light. And when we make this turn on the left, you'll see uh, you'll see a little CR England uh, hub. 
they they cab CR England trucks. That's the local drivers. They just they pull the trailers, pull them to different places. Maybe they pull trailers from here to Tar Hill or wherever, or they go to the grocery stores and drop trailers off. Yeah, but that's that's not what I did. That's but that's what made me want to start driving trucks because I had my license for a long time, but I wasn't I, I didn't do any over the road stuff. I used to work for a steel plant in this the same town too called Dubo Steel. I used to pull pull the uh, I want a yard dog. It was an actual it had a sleeper on it, but I was only I was only working on the uh, like inside the city. There's a CR England on the right. We got a we got a hog truck coming up coming towards me. We ain't got to them yet. See those CR England day cabs out there. Y'all wondering what the hell am I doing here picking up hogs? I ain't picking no hogs up. <laughs> I'm going to a lumber yard. That's right down here on the right. I'm going to pick up some lumber. I don't know how to get inside this place either. I don't know how to get in there. So I think I'm just going to stop right here and see where the entrance is at. Cut my blinkers on. Where's the damn entrance? I have no clue. So I'm going to have to do some investigating. Whew. Okay. Go past the office, which is the blue building, and make the right. I gotta take up the whole damn street to do this. Damn. We made it. Got a truck in front of me. So in the meantime, I'll go ahead and get this get this strap off these tarps and get ready. Well, this truck got to back out. Once they back out, I got to pull in. I think that's how the man said do it. Pull in and look for the cracks on the floor. What he told me. Cracks on the floor.
In the number? Yeah, yeah. How long is your, uh, how long is the truck? 48. 48. All right. We're going to use all of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move the torch. All right. We're going to come all the way to the door. All right. Forty-eight foot. Gonna use the whole trailer. Yep, about to get ready to talk this thing. A little muddy over here. I got tennis shoes on. If I had on my boots, I'd walk right through it. Tennis shoes. Yeah, if I had on my if I had on my car hearts, I I drudge right through it. Ah. Now get on top of here.
kind of crooked over there, but I get it when I get on the ground. Folded this top up on top of a load. That's why it's all discombobulated. But we're gonna get it right. Yeah, it's all it's all discombobulated. We're gonna get it right though. That's about all I can do from up here. Woo! Woo! Yep. Let me throw the straps. I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna throw the straps. I didn't strap it before I put the tarp on. See how, see how much we got hanging off this side? So I gotta pull it from the other side. I couldn't do that up top. There we go. There we go, gang. This thing's starting to come together. Yeah, it's coming together nicely. Now we gotta get the other side right. I got my glasses on today too. Yeah, that's all on the other side. Yeah, it's coming together nicely. Guess what, gang? I'm gonna hit a little, little bit of this mud. There we go. This is gonna have to be all right. We're just gonna have to step in some mud. Cause I ain't got time to take my boot. Oh, this one ain't bad. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, pretty nice. You like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? been a while since I made a tarpon video, hasn't it? You know why? Because I really haven't been doing too much tarpon lately. Yeah, I ain't been doing a lot of tarpon. It's 
So all we're gonna do now is get this back end up. Get this back end up off the ground. Get that back end up right there. Catch a place. Catch a place. Look at the flick of that wrist. Get you up, baby. Let's get the other side. Always gotta put two bungees on these. Cause if you don't, that shit that shit'll roll out while you're driving. You don't want that to happen. Definitely don't want that. Your damn tail lights will be covered up. Put you right here, baby. I don't know how other people do it, but I always use two bungees on the back. Hey look, all we're doing right now is just getting this back end up. Just to hold it in place while I throw my uh throw my straps. That's all we're doing. We'll come back and get those. And now let's pin these up where I can throw my straps over. Makes it a whole lot easier. you panned up real quick.
Looks pretty good, don't it? Hey, look, and we're not even finished. I gotta throw the straps. Let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty then, all the straps have been thrown. Only thing I got left to do now, hit these open areas where it needs a bungee. Some people, some people will roll with it just like this. But me, I, I can't, uh, I don't like to see nothing flapping. So I use a lot of bungees, even if I don't have to use them. I still use them. Doesn't take that long. Doesn't take that long to add a few bungees. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bundle down because I feel like I'm gonna need it. I ain't gonna use it till I finish the other one that I got hanging over here. Shit it right here. Yeah, the straps, those straps help out a lot. We're holding that bungee down. Well, like I said, me personally, I can't, uh, I don't like to look out my mirror and see it flapping. So I use a lot. I use a lot of bungees. But I will say, I have picked up preloaded trailers before that already had had straps thrown over it. And I just had to tighten them up. Yeah, if I was in a rush and I picked up a preloaded trailer, I probably I probably would skip doing this. I probably wouldn't use as many bungees. But I got time. Cause I'm gonna be driving. I got, I got about an eight hour drive, so what time is it now? It's 11 o'clock. I'll probably be driving uh, in the dark at some point tonight. So the best thing I can do is make sure I'm comfortable with the load. That's the best thing I can do. We'll go ahead and put this flap up here. These right here, I only do once. I, I do the bottom part, then I come back and do the top. That way, I, I got it lined up just right. I call myself the, ma the master topper. I mean, this is gonna look pretty. It's gonna look pretty because the load is flat. So anytime, anytime the load is flat, it's gonna look pretty. So I can't take all the credit. But a true master torper cares more about his safety than anything else. That's a true master torper. That's why I use a lot of bungees. Because when you when you use a lot of bungees and that tarp ain't flapping, you can see a whole lot better. You can see, see beside you, see if anybody's in your blind spot. That's why I like, I don't like to see the flaps. Cause I can see. Here, you got a, you got a down tarp that's fucking flapping like hell. You might be trying to make a, you might be trying to switch lanes. But hey, you might can't see the down, you might can't see the little motorcycle. Look, you might can't see the little motorcycle that's over there in your blind spot cause you're down tarp flapping. The little motorcycle, the motorcycle or the little, little Toyota, Toyota Prius that's got a mother and a newborn baby in it. You can't see that stuff with a flapping tarp. 
That's why we don't want our tarps to flap. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, baby? We don't want no flapping tarps around us. Now let's get this thing. I just got a message. It sounded like a PNS message. I guarantee I know exactly what it's gonna say. <laughs> what y'all think it's gonna say? If it came from PNS, let's look. Oh man, it's not from PNS. It's from Loves. Let's see what it says. A bonus offer. The clock is running. Spend fifty dollars on store products, snacks, and drinks to earn five dollars in points. Uh, Shouldn't be too hard to spend fifty dollars at Loves in a month. It's possible. I don't know if they, if they uh, count like the the uh, what do you call it? The uh, restaurants. If they count the restaurants in there, it shouldn't be hard at all. I got the back end a little bit too far back, but it's all good. Cause I got enough to cover the whole load. Yeah, it's all good. I think I got most of the bungees on this side. I just gotta hang them up. Well, pin them really. I got most of them hung already. I just gotta come over here and tighten them up. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm surprised I haven't heard from my DM. Maybe the reason I haven't heard from her is because I didn't send the uh, arrived at shipper macro. I usually send it, but I didn't send it today. Because for one, when I got here, there's only one truck in front of me. So I knew I wasn't gonna wait that long. But like if I'm if I'm in a situation where I get somewhere and I, I know I'm gonna be sitting there for a few hours, I'll make sure I send that arrived at shipper macro. In case it comes down to uh get some uh detention pay. Cause you won't you won't get detention pay if you don't send that down macro. If you send that if Cause they're gonna say, oh, we don't know what time you got there. That's what they're gonna say. So you gotta send that arrived at shipper when you get to your shipper. That happened to me in uh, Jackson, Tennessee at that damn steel plant where I, where I ended up sitting there. I sat there for about seven hours before I got loaded. My appointment was at, at three o'clock. I didn't get loaded till about 11 o'clock at night. But guess what? I didn't send my damn arrived at shipper macro when I got there. So I think I did get some detention time for it, but my DM had to had to put in a good word for me. It was she was like, I don't know if I can get you detention or not because you didn't send the macro, but I see what I can do. So I was like, okay. But I did end up getting some detention pay. But if if I had if if I hadn't have got it. Man, it was, it was, it would, I couldn't blame nobody but myself because I didn't send a damn macro. Y'all can say what y'all want. Oh, I never send that macro. Hey, that's y'all. Hey, this is my money. I got a buddy that's like that. He's like, I don't send nothing. The only thing I send is an empty car. I was like, well, that's on you, buddy. I got to send my macros. This side looks pretty good. Walk around, check the other side. Pretty good. Put one more bungee up there. Put one across the middle. Hey, it definitely don't hurt to use bungees. They're free. <laughs> I got plenty of them. I already see where I'm gonna put you at, buddy. 
Put one right here. We're gonna put the other one. Put the other one right here. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it don't hurt to use extra bungees. How long did it take me to put that bungee up there? Five seconds. Got the back end good. Put one right here. I'm gonna hook you back in the back somewhere, buddy. I ain't hooked one back. I ain't hooked one back here in a while. I usually hook mine on the rub rail. Yeah, we're about finished. Yeah, yeah, I missed you. Yeah, this thing, you don't put one right here. This thing will definitely flip out on your ass. It's happened to me before. Hey, guess what? Something my trainer told me a long time ago. He said I only get paid to tarp that load one time. That's what he told me. And that's the truth. You only get paid to tarp once. So while I'm while I while I may take about ten more minutes than somebody else that's tarping they load at the same place. Guess what? When, when he pulling over at the rest area, fixing his damn bungees, <laughs> cause that's what's gonna happen. He gonna be over there at the rest area, fixing the damn bungees. Guess where I'm gonna be? Guess where I'm gonna be? While he on the side of the road fixing bungees. I'm gonna be passing right on by. Him. <laughs> hey, cause that's what that's what's gonna happen. That's one thing about tarpon, man. That's one thing about it. Like, you really can't, you really can't get a good idea of how good your tarp your tarpon is until you get moving. So once you get moving and you start getting that wind and shit, that's when you're gonna see. That's when you're gonna see how good you got to tarp. Yeah, once that damn wind get the, once that damn wind get the whipping, you, you'll see how good, it don't matter how good it look while you sitting still, once you get moving down the damn highway, that's when you gonna know. That's when you gonna know if you gotta pull over. All right, gang. We're gonna wrap this one up. I gotta go up there across the scale. I gotta go across the scale, get the paperwork. And we're gonna hit the road. I got four straps on that back bundle. I got three on the other ones. I could have used, I could have used uh, three on that back one too. But I ain't want to. I said, fuck it. I had an extra strap. I'm gonna show y'all the extra strap. Two in the first five feet. This right here is the extra one. It don't matter if it's twisted. It don't matter if it's twisted. It keep it from vibrating in the wind. But yeah, I had one extra strap because I was going to do three, three, and three. But I said, fuck it. I'm going to throw one. I had an extra one anyway, so I just threw it. That's one for the family. All right, gang. I'm out, man. Flatman gang. Love y'all.